Welcome back, and in this video, we will be looking at creating a 3D path from scratch using the modify 3D path feature. So to do that, I can either unassign this path or delete it. To avoid confusion, I'll simply delete the path. And then right click and create a new one from the 3D path list this time. And call this PO2 Excavator. And then immediately I'll go to the task, select the resource, or from task properties select the resource from there, and then assign that path. There's nothing yet because the path doesn't even have any keyframes, so we're going to go to 3D Path Editor and capture keyframe, and this will initialize our first two keyframes in the original position of the excavator. So now all I have to do is click the Modify 3D Path button and build my 3D path from scratch. So in this case, we have the first and last point. I can just go to the last point. However, I can't see the equipment anymore. So I can go just before the last point, place the equipment in its final position, capture that keyframe, and then delete that last point. And then I can interpolate everything that happens in between. So we can go here. And then maybe we want the rotation to happen sooner here. We can flip that. And then see what's going on. So we have this. Makes sense. Now, as you can see, this looks not very efficient in this case, however, this feature is used a lot when you have to either install or remove a component because it saves the first and last position. So if I undo all of my keyframes, let's say we're installing an equipment or, for example, removing it. If you're removing it, you only modify everything except the first keyframe. And if you're installing it, then you modify everything except the last keyframe. For example, if we were to install this screen so that it's here, let's say it's uh, a curtain wall panel, for example, then you can modify the first keyframe wherever you want and then scrub through the focus time. Make sure you're avoiding obstacles if there are any, and then it will be installed to its final location. I'll edit an example here showing how this is used on a real project so you can see it in context. Also, you can modify 3D path coordinates by going to a keyframe and then changing them over here. For example, I'll copy the Z coordinate from the last keyframe and paste it in the third keyframe, in the second keyframe. And here we see that we leveled out the Z location. Make sure to practice this, and in the next video, we'll look at some additional functionalities for the Modify 3D Path feature. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.